just wanted to say that I decided to make this video because I haven't really felt like knitting and I haven't had a lot of time to knit also. Um, and working on my pattern, the shawl I was designing is really kind of stressful actually, so I haven't been working on it. And I've been barely crocheting that dishcloth, like there's nothing going on here right now. Uh, so just wanted to do this instead and show you some things. Right now it's May 14th, it's May 14th, so whenever this comes out, it's probably gonna have been a while, but this is what I've been up to. So thanks guys. where I work. These are a bunch of things that we had outside to harden off then it was really cold.
So, the noise behind me that you can hear probably very loudly is the irrigation pumping out water into this field back here. Uh, yeah, and I took video before, earlier in the season, of that field. Um, sorry about the lighting if it's bad, but it's kind of cloudy right here. Um, I took video of the irrigation, no. I took video of that field when things were smaller or there weren't, there definitely wasn't as much out there. And now it's basically full except for some patches. And soon, well, uh, sooner rather than later, I guess, it's gonna be full of tall flowers. Well, not all of them are tall, but like they're gonna be a lot bigger than the little ones you see right now. Yeah, and also herbs and stuff like chamomile we've got going over there. And yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take you, the door is shut. Um, is this how you open it? Okay. <laughs> gonna take you upstairs up this sketchy ladder up this ladder and we are going to go close the uh, upper barn doors which oh boy um, they just kind of bang around when it's windy <laughs> and that's no fun but up here we have drying a bunch of nettles for tea yeah and other barn doors but as you can see, one moment I'll switch to the other view. As you can see, these doors open up all the way up here. Um, kind of dangerous, but you get a nice view of everything. And we're gonna plant over in that field starting next week. But for now, I'm gonna try to shut these doors without falling down a couple stories. So, be back in a second. <laughs> um, they don't really lock and latch properly, but I'm gonna call that good enough. <laughs> You know, even over that way that I showed you before, everything's so much greener, things have bloomed and are blooming, the grass is getting really tall, um, but they don't want to mow because they want to keep it kind of meadow-like, track different native species and whatnot. Um, and today we spent some time planting things in the gardens over there, like the formal gardens, have a bunch of things that we had extra from the greenhouse. Out on this table, we actually have some extra things still that we haven't really decided what, to do, what all to do with yet. Um, some of it might go in the formal gardens around the house, but just got a bunch of extras and some things don't look so great now because they've just been sitting out here unused because we don't really need them. The greenhouse isn't nearly as full as it has been. Um, things have definitely been obviously filling the fields, but there's still a lot in here like tomatoes and serenthi or serenth. I don't know how you pronounce this. It's a flower. Serenth, kiwi blue, serenthi. Um, some sunflowers, magella. bunch of peppers, some dahlias, basil, chamomile, 
More foxglove. We have a ton of foxglove in the field and in the home garden. Rosemary and things, oregano, um, leftover echinacea, doesn't look too good. Some other things that need to go out real soon, stock and sunflowers and some ornamental grass, things like that. Ageratum. Sunflowers, leafy greens for the home garden. Peppers. Yep, so there's a whole load of things going on out here and we only have more to go, but we'll see how it goes. Today was the first farmer's market and I didn't get to go, but uh, I can't wait to hear how it went. 